Hello dear algorithms traders. As we know, there is significantly less information in the forex market than in the futures or stock markets. In addition to the well-known footprint charts, there is volume information, iceberg trackers, pulling and stacking as well as the DOM and the time and sales list. According to the trading coaches, this is unbeatable information that allows you to see exactly where the big players stand and thus bring incredible returns to every retailer. Provided that they book an inexpensive trading seminar with you for 10,000 euros. In today's article we analyze to what extent this large amount of information from the futures market actually helps us and whether we can achieve higher profit rates than in the forex market. The trading coaches are very creative and show how easy trading is in their promotional videos. They go to great lengths to create their advertising videos and spare no expense or time. As soon as the first customers have taken the bait, you put pressure on them and make the seminar scarce. The customer allows himself to be influenced by this and invests the money he has painstakingly saved. The seminars are usually not to be surpassed in stupidity. What is pompously explained there can be found everywhere on the internet for free. In this seminar, students are taught things that a professional trader would never do. I can only urgently warn against not implementing these recommendations. Of course, these trading coaches are very open and friendly. After all, they also want a lot of money from their customers. As soon as the customer begins to trade at home with the strategy he was taught, the first problems begin. It is not uncommon for 20 to 30,000 euros to be lost within half a year. From the 10,000 euros trading fees collected by 20 students, the trading coaches are now making a good living. It's not about teaching the student anything, it's all about earning financial freedom through these unnecessary trading seminars. With an hourly wage of 300 to 500 euros you finance an extremely comfortable life for these trading coaches. Even in the stock market, you would never lose that much money per hour. However, since there are now more and more people who no longer fall for this scam or who try to warn other people about it, the trading coaches have more and more problems filling their seminars. Unfortunately, there are still enough people who fall for the tricks of these scammers. Incidentally, 85% of all trading coaches have been active in the futures markets for many years. Incidentally, that could be one of the reasons why a change is now taking place in these markets. In Germany, Austria and Switzerland there are 10,000 traders in the futures and stock markets and 50,000 traders are active in the foreign exchange market. Of these, 2,000 traders work as professional traders. The world, around 1 million traders trade in the futures and stock markets and 5 million trade in the forex market. That means 15% trade on the stock market and 85% trade in the forex market. Most of the traders who trade in the stock market have already found their strategy, but there are still 5 million retailers who are not familiar with the stock market. This means that the trading coaches have great potential to transfer foreign exchange traders to the stock markets. And how do the trading coaches do that now? Now, through statements like, the futures market is the largest market in the world. Only professionals trade in the futures market or the stock exchange is fairer. Of course, these are all bullshit statements aimed solely at badmouthing the forex market. After the coaches have highlighted the futures or stock market, they now show how they can make a lot of money using stock market data. Many students let themselves be blinded by this and the trading coach can begin his perfidious game. Let's take a quick look behind the scenes and see to what extent this future data is actually helpful. In volume trading, we can look at vertical trading volume or horizontal trading volume. Both approaches are calculated from an addition of market sell and market buy orders. But interestingly, the market sell order has nothing to do with a market buy order as they never meet in the market. The trading coaches then like to tell you that you can tell from this high volume that a fight between big market participants has taken place there. This is also absolute nonsense, as the big players rarely fight each other. First of all, the big players collect the contracts they need with limit orders and use the stops of the retailers to do so. A high volume thus indicates a possible collection campaign. The crucial question is, what was collected in this sideways phase and very few coaches have an answer to that. 
According to the law of causality, volume is just another type of pattern that always arises randomly. Incidentally, it should be interesting that the most successful big players do not work with volume at all. Let's move on to the footprint charts. For a retail trader who has previously traded in the Forex market, the many flashing lights and numbers within a candle are of course a minor sensation. The trading coach now explains that these numbers show exactly what these big players are up to. And if you know what someone else is up to, you can of course position yourself accordingly. This makes sense to the retailer who is now ready to learn how to interpret these numbers. In the footprint chart we see that a total of 6 lot market sell orders entered the market and on the opposite side 3 lot market buy orders. This means the left side of the footprint chart shows market sell orders and the right side shows market buy orders. As we know, a market sell order automatically runs into a limit by order, otherwise it could not be triggered at all. On the other hand, a market by order automatically runs into a limit sell order. This means that in the footprint chart, the limit sell orders are on the right side and the limit by orders are on the left side. The big question now is which side are we looking at? The market orders page or the limit orders page? We will see that this is a crucial difference in another video. An imbalance is also a very popular topic. If there is a strong deviation in the orders between best ask and best bid, this imbalance can be made visible in the market. This imbalance is said to act like a strong resistance zone. Unfortunately, these zones only work 30% of the time. True miracles are also attributed to Dom trading. Finally, the limit orders are a glimpse into the future, since there a market participant shows his willingness to enter into a trade. But is that really true? In principle not, because by pulling or stacking, a market participant is able to delete this limit order or add others at any time. In the time and sales list you can see exactly which market orders are coming in. That's true, but you can't see the intention with which this market order was placed. Furthermore, these market orders come randomly and unexpectedly, just like pulling or stacking. The so-called iceberg trackers are particularly popular, with which one can see exactly where and when a large market participant absorbs. The fact is, native iceberg orders are clearly identifiable, while synthetic iceberg orders are not. And the majority of iceberg orders are synthetic. For this, these iceberg trackers use their own algorithms, which I personally would never rely on because they are only an estimate. Even if you could predict an absorption 100% correctly, you still don't know where the price will go after that, is this really the case down? Unfortunately, the trader was unlucky here and was stopped out. The question is why does the price keep moving even though strong absorption has taken place? Well, that could have been a partial exit from the euro, for example. Likewise, MBO data is also sold as the holy grail. A limit order is divided into different sequences in order to make the individual market participants visible. Here we see a concrete example of these split limit orders. Now, we believe that when there is a larger limit order in the market, the market is held up by it. But usually these large orders are cancelled and the price just keeps moving. Synthetic iceberg orders are divided into many small tranches and cannot be identified here. To be honest, you also don't think that the larger market participants will let the MBO data take the butter off their bread. The causality principle describes that the cause of the market movement depends exclusively on the market orders that run into the limit orders. At the end of the day, the result is the price and the candle, which always arises randomly. This means that the volume of the footprint charts and the imbalance are always created by chance. Incidentally, the same applies to the TNS list and the cathedral. Incidentally, this year Boffin introduced a law to regulate futures in Germany. The reason was because retailers lost massive amounts of money doing it. That actually contradicts itself because if the stock market data is so unbeatable, there shouldn't be that many losers. A lot has happened in the area of trader liability. Until December 31, 2022, a future trader is fully liable with his private assets, from January 1 only with his account balance. However, the costs in Germany will probably increase. You also have to deposit a tenfold margin to trade with a lot. Another disadvantage is the minimum bet of 0.1 lot. 
In Forex, entry is possible from 0.01 lot. Another disadvantage in the futures market arises when the stop is set, since the limit orders are further apart than in the Forex market. We have already spoken about the sometimes faster execution times in the Forex market. Because the Forex brokers have different liquidity providers, the orders can be passed through more quickly, especially in high volatility phases. In order to follow the big players, you should only trade in markets where there are big big players. The Forex market is 20 times larger than the world's stock and futures markets. This is because the Forex market was originally created to allow banks to trade among themselves cheaply. It was never planned for retailers to be able to trade there. In Eurist alone, $2 trillion is traded daily, with the 20 largest big players trading a daily turnover of almost 500,000 lots. The preferred markets of the coaches are the DAX and the SNP. If the SNP future were listed in the Forex market, it would only appear in 15th place. The biggest big players who trade 1 million lots a day could trade 13 times the Apple share and 3 times the daily turnover in the SNP. However, that would not be worthwhile since the costs in the futures market are far too expensive from a player's point of view. So the futures markets are more for the retailer and the smaller institutional traders. This means that the big players are easier to identify in the foreign exchange market than, for example, in the S&P futures market. We have very strong liquidity in Euro US dollars. This ensures a little less volatility but also a small risk and low spreads. When the price of Eurist is called on the news, it basically comes from the spot market as that is the leader of the pack. In many of my videos we have already made some comparisons and the forex market has beaten the futures market by far. Especially in the area of liability and risk. So if the trading coaches claim that the forex market is just a joke, let him do a live trading in the forex market with you and show you how easy the forex market is. The saying that the forex market has no decisive volume of data may have been correct in the past, since higher returns were achieved in the futures market than in the forex market. But how can it be explained that in 2021 the forex market was significantly better than the futures market in the world championship in the first five places? Probably just a stupid coincidence. But how is it possible that the forex market is just as good as the futures market this year? Theoretically, that can't be the case if the volume of data is so crucial. So don't get charred and keep trading in the forex market, because due to the many events, you can earn significantly more money than trading in the futures market. As a trader, you need to ask yourself the following question. Where can I get the most returns with the lowest risk and where is there a high probability of keeping them? Of course, if you're clever, you get the stock market data from the future market to get additional information. Basically, I would only trade in the forex market. You can find more information about this in my numerous videos. I keep my fingers crossed for you and look forward to seeing you here again soon. Kind regards, Michael.